there is an art <clears throat> to disciplining an adolescent. If you have a child 10 years and up, it's time to add some new pages to your parenting handbook. First of all, before we get into three new pages that I have for you, I want to make the point that it's important when you're dealing with an adolescent to not react quickly in a situation. Take time to think through what you want your discipline to be and uh, don't react out of emotion. They're gonna hear the emotion and they're not gonna hear the importance of the discipline. So that's kind of the golden rule of disciplining an adolescent. But let me go ahead now and give you three new pages that you can add to your parenting handbook for disciplining adolescents. First one, be wise about the intensity of the discipline that you're gonna impose on them. So it needs to match the intensity of the situation, right? Be careful, don't do things like, you can't use your phone for four months. You, you know how hard it's gonna to be to try to keep that under control. Think through what are gonna be the parameters of the discipline and um, are you gonna be able to enforce it? <clears throat> Second, with that clear discipline in mind, you want to sit down with your adolescent and have a talk with them. Explain to them why you're imposing this discipline on them and what exactly are going to be all the different parts of it. So when it's gonna start, when it's gonna end, how you're gonna measure it, whatever you need to make it very clear to them how they're to respond to this discipline. Don't just make some blanket statement. Make sure that it has very clear parameters to it. Uh, third, you have to stay, stick with your plan. No matter how hard it is, when you have set the limits of your discipline, you have to hold to those until it's completed. This is so very important because if you don't, if you give in along the way, because you know these kids, they're so amazing. They can have you furious one minute and then they can be adorable 15 minutes later and then you think, oh, maybe I was too hard on them. You don't want to go down that road. Be logical in your plan and then stick to it. If you don't do that, they're clever. They're going to know that you're not going to stick to it the next time. And you're not going to have the respect that you need when you're disciplining this age group. So remember, don't discipline out of emotion. Be logical and clear and communicate directly to them and hold your ground. Don't give in. If you set a plan, stick with your plan. This is Dr. M with Anatomy for Kids.